is Angel Cundiff, and I am a supporter of the Wooden Solid campaign. And today, I am standing here with a few members of the Church of God in Christ. <laughs> it is, in fact, election season. So today, I want to introduce to you Bishop and First Lady Patrick Wooden. Come on up. Hi, Bishop and First Lady. How are you today? Good. So, Bishop, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm Patrick Wooden. I'm the Bishop of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm the proud pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, and I am Pamela's husband, and I'm running for the general board, and I'm prepared for this moment. Yes, absolutely. And this is your wife, First Lady Pamela Wooden. Okay, so we do have a couple of questions that we are going to ask you. I want to go ahead and get started. Okay. The first question is, why do you love the Church of God in Christ so much? Because the Church of God in Christ opened up a world for me that I did not know existed. After I met Jesus Christ, the first time I went to a convocation or to a national meeting, and I saw all of those black folk looking good, praising God, shouting and dancing and back then in the cook convention center when the dance would start the whole place would shake i knew then that this church was for me i love the church of god in christ that is good does anyone have any objections no objections all right we're gonna move to the second question how long have you been a bishop i have been a bishop now i'm in my ninth year Actually, let's see, nine years as a jurisdictional prelate, four years as an auxiliary bishop, so a total of uh, 13 years. All right, all right, 13 years. Does that sound like that's a good time? Yes, yes. All right, all right. So I believe, okay, okay. I believe you serve as the co-director for the men's department of the Church of God in Christ. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, I'm, I'm honored to serve with Bishop Michael B. Golden Jr. in the men's ministry, and it has been a blast. Uh, we get a chance to encourage men to be men, to walk in biblical truth, to love their wives, love their families, be strong, be masculine, and to work together. And it's amazing how men have flocked to the men's ministry. Working with Bishop Golden has been a joy, and it is one of the premier ministries of our church church and it's been a joy for me to serve all right does anybody want to pop their balloon nobody want to pop their balloon okay 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 all right third question what is your vision for the church of god in christ my vision for the church of god in christ this grand old church is to be the church that God established it to be. A force for holiness, a force for righteousness, a force for Jesus Christ to spread the gospel, and also a force for justice and righteousness. And that we, I believe that we are strategically uh, placed, we're in a place where we can affect change even in government and in the nation, but we gotta do it by staying true to the scriptures and God's truth. So that's what I that's what I see for this church and I think that's the role in it. All right, biblical truth. Who agrees with that? Agree? No objections? First lady, do you have any objections? Not at all. I am with the program 100%. I know that's right. Support your man all times. <laughs> okay. So our last question. Let's see. Let me see. Everyone still got their balloon, right? Okay. What legacy do you want to leave behind for being in the general board? Well, and I'm answering this. Uh, not being a part of the board at this time oh. and, and fighting to be a part, but I pray that when my time is done, that they will look back and say, this was a guy who was true to the Bible yes. and true to the doctrine of the church. I want to do everything that I can to keep us aligned with scripture. And I believe in the doctrine of the church of God in Christ, because as I read it and study it and live it, it is aligned with scripture so if we can stay loyal to jesus christ and if when my time is over is up and people say he 
benefited. He helped us stay loyal to God that I feel that I will have done what the Lord would have me to do. All righty. Any red flags? Any red flags? Y'all mighty quiet. Y'all mighty quiet. Wood and solid. All right, so that is all that I have for today. But Bishop and First Lady, if you don't mind just following me, we're going to ask some of our contestants if they have any questions, comments, or concerns about being wood and solid. All right. All right, what is your name? My name is Caleb. All right, and do you have any questions for Bishop Wooden? Uh, I just want to know who taught him how to dress like that, you know? Who taught me how to dress? My dad. The second time, the second time that I saw my father, of the one, one of the two times I saw him in my life, he had on the prettiest suit that I had ever seen, and I always knew after that that I would want to wear suits. And my mama told me when I was a little boy, she said, "Son, I don't know what you're gonna be, but I've always envisioned you in suits." So. All righty, our next contestant. What's your name? Norman. Norman. Are you winning solid? Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns for us? I have one question. What is your favorite car to drive? My favorite car to drive is my current one that I'm driving, my uh, uh, S580 um, Mercedes. All righty. <laughs> Our next contestant, what is your name? I am Elder James Williams, Jr. All right, Elder Williams. Do you have any red flags? Do you want to pop your balloon? I don't think so, but I do have a question, though. Okay, what's your question? Um, my question to you, Bishop, is um, being on a general board, how will you be able to support young pastors and young elders in their, tw in their 20s or 30s or even late 30s and 40s? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, being on the general board, I think being one of 12, our goal would be to promote the, the agenda, the idea, the necessity of supporting our new upcoming preachers because you guys are our lives. And no matter who's on the stage, no one owns the stage. No one stays on the board. No presiding bishop is presiding bishop forever. So we've got to have up and coming men to carry on and women to carry the church. So yes, we will definitely support, su support and promote supporting young preachers and pastors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, our next contestant. Elder Anthony Presley. Okay, Elder Presley. Yes, All righty. Do you want to pop that balloon? I do not. Well, why don't you want to pop the balloon? Uh, question. Question. My question for you, I'm wooden solid. Yes, are you wooden solid? And what I mean by that is we know about you and that you are unafraid for change and uh, dynamic when it comes to biblical truths. Once you get on this general board, will you still be the same wooden that we have loved and to see you grow to be? Are you wooden solid? I think that's a fantastic question. And I got a question for you. Where you get those guns from, man? <laughs> Big, strong guy. And, 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 you know, that's a legitimate question, and that's a legitimate concern. I don't know how to be any other way. What you see in me is that you don't see a pretense. I'm not taking on a persona that's not real. Absolutely. This is me. Yes. And um, God has put me in a position where I can be me. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I don't need money from anyone. I don't need a lot of things that others may need. And I have a wonderful church and a wonderful ministry and a wonderful wife and family who loves me. And my convictions come from the Lord. So thank you for that question. But I will say to anyone who has that concern, no, the general board will not change me. I do know that I will have to work in the board and be one of 12. But my goal is to change it. All righty. And our next contestant is John Amanchukwu. All right. And I believe you're the son in law, correct? Yes, yes. The son in love. That's my father in love. <laughs> all righty. All righty. So you, you don't want to pop your balloon? No, I'm not popping my balloon, but I do have something to say. I've seen you heal the sick, I've seen you raise the dead. Well, how come you haven't prayed that my hair come back? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you see, God heals. And it wasn't me who healed the sick. I, I prayed and the Lord did it. Mm -hmm. 
but you look so good as you are. And I thought it I thought it not best to to waste a prayer. Plus, looking at you, you may be the forerunner to where I may end up. So <laughs> praise God. I'm going with you, brother. All right. <laughs> All righty. I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> so our next contestant. I'm Crystal Amanchukwu. All right, and I believe you're the daughter of Bishop Wooden. Yes, ma'am. Yes, do you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Well, I want to say that I have enjoyed everything I've seen and heard, not just today, but all of my life. So I am definitely Wooden solid. My only question is, when can we vote? I'm ready to go. All right. Oh, see, that's 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 my daughter. That's she, your girl. That's my girl. She's been hanging in there with me. Every, when she when she was born, I knew that someone special had come into the world, and she's only proven me right every day of her life. Yeah, she's been wooden solid before this even came about. All right. Our next contestant is. I'm Kelly Wells Johnson. All right, Miss Johnson. Yes, ma'am. First Lady, First Lady Johnson. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you want to pop that balloon? Absolutely not. I have one question, and the question is, over 30 years, you've had a motto that God is first. Yes. Can you promise me that once you get on that board, that you will make sure that you keep God First, glory to God. What a question. And coming from my sister, whom yes. I love and admire, and, and a lady that I've had multiple conversations, mm -hmm. we've discussed so many things. Mm -hmm. I promise you, and we're on tape, I promise you with all that is within me mm -hmm. that I will adhere to, the, to, the one, to, to one of the things that I know that God gave me. Yes, God gave me yes. the God first, first concept. Yes, and I don't know how to live any other way. I promise you, we will, if we get on the general board, if God first is not already there, then I will bring God first to the general board. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, our next contestant, I believe you've been a faithful member at the upper room. I have been 38 years. My All right. And what's your name? What's your Shekinah name? Hurst. All right, Ms. Hurst. Do you want to pop that balloon? No, nope. 38 not? years. He's been solid. You have the option to pop that balloon? Not popping it. Are you sure? Positive. 100%? I'm wooden solid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Stand on business. Stand on business. All right. She's good at what she does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next contestants are? James and D. Faces. All right. Now, do you have any questions, comments, concerns? Wooden solid. We're definitely wooden solid, and mm -hmm. we thank the Lord for Bishop Wooden leadership down through the years and for his example that he has set. But as a as a general board member, what will you do, Bishop, to make sure that the men keep their suits on and don't walk around with dresses on? That's a wonderful, wonderful question. Number one, we we will always model keeping our suits on and 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 not putting on dresses, and we will continue to speak such. I see what's going on in society, and I believe that God has strategically placed the Church of God in Christ to be a voice against this behavior. And to say this to the credit of the, of the church, many times at our national conventions, you see a lot of questionable people coming dressed in provocative, ungodly ways. Well, well, most people don't know that many of those people are not from our church. Many of those people just show up at our conventions. However, there are too many who are from the church who, do this, who, who participate in that. My position would be what my position was when a young man walked up to me and asked me one day. He said, Bishop Wood, would you take a picture with me? This guy had on a, a, a lady's top, a lady's brooch, and, and dressed like a lady. And I looked at him and said, I most certainly will not. And he said, why? I said, because you're a tall man. You could be someone's husband. You could... Uh, someone's husband, someone's dad, you, and you're standing there dressed like a girl, you're better than that. So, yes, we would do everything we can to cause the church to go into the direction of that which is right and proper. Men dressed like men and women like women. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. All right, and I believe we have another couple. Oh, that was two minutes. <laughs> 
And what's y'all's names? Quentin and Catherine Whitby. All righty. And I believe you play the drums yes. for the church house band. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or do you want to pop that red balloon? I don't want to pop the balloon. No. Uh, mm. We're wooden solid. We are wooden solid. <laughs> we are wooden solid all day, every day. <laughs> all righty. Thank you. Okay. So I'm next contestant. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? I am Chaya and I am Wood and Solid. Alrighty, and do you have any questions, comments, concerns? You want to pop that balloon? Okay. All right. Our next contestant, what's your name? Pamela Norman Chukwu. All right, and you are the granddaughter, correct? So tell me. Do you want to pop that balloon? You're not going to get in trouble. I mean, you are the granddaughter and the only granddaughter. Only. No, I don't want to pop the balloon. But I do have one question. Okay. Seeing that you're already busy, mm -hmm. schedule is very packed. If you made general board, we still have time for me and my brothers. Oh, what a question! <laughs> well, let me tell you, the general board and and uh, the church and all these other things, as important as they are, they're not my only granddaughter, and they're not my grandchildren. And as a granddad, you know, I've been telling people. There is no title like Grandpa. So the answer is I will always have time for you and your brothers and my grandkids because God gave you to us and we love you. And uh, I want you to always know that, baby. Yeah. All righty. What is your name? My name is Ina. All right. Do you want to pop that balloon? Nope, I'm Wooden Solid. Do you have any questions for Bishop Wooden as a young person? No, I did not. I'm Wooden Solid. Hallelujah. All righty. Seems like you got the youth Hallelujah. on your side. Hallelujah. All righty. And our last contestant, what is your name? Tyra. Tyra. Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Or why are you hiding that balloon? <laughs> do you want to pop that balloon? I do not, but I do have a question. Okay, what's your question? I know we're looking for a strong bishop for the general board, both spiritually and physically fit. So how do you plan to stay healthy if you make the general board? That's a wonderful question. Number one, I plan to keep, continue to eat Pam's cooking. <laughs> and uh, to stay with my exercise regimen and, and to, to take care of my body because you can't serve the Lord with, with a broken down body. And uh, I, I want to do my best to look the role as much as I possibly can, as well as uh, occupy the role. And I think God's man ought to uh, give off the vibe or the look of being disciplined and responsible and that we pay attention to what we put in our bodies and to get enough sleep. Thank you. All righty. Well, I believe that is all that we have. If I can get everyone to say really solid on the count of three. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., and I approve this message.